Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Sidley Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Aquarius, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. Also, Aquarius, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, because it does help me out a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Uh, but remember, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I believe my cards are just here to give you some food for thought as you go throughout your week, a uh, perspective consider for during the day, but never making the choice in your life, because I believe it's your life to live, Aquarius, not mine and not these tarot cards. So, all that being said, Aquarius, let's just start with your reading. I want to see where it is you guys are currently at in your headspace. And you guys got the uh, Empress card, Archangel Gabriel, number three for numerology. So write that down to look up later, Aquarius. Uh, but yeah, with the Empress card, Archangel Gabriel, y'all already know I have to say it. If you're open to working with Archangels, connect with Archangel Gabriel this week. Uh, this card says, lavish in abundance, giving birth to your dreams and nurturing yourself and others. So you are in this headspace right now uh aquarius which is i really like seeing this energy for you actually because it's showing to me that you guys are uh definitely coming out of your hole uh, i know the last that we talked aquarius if you were here for your last week's reading uh you guys were going through a little bit of a struggle you guys were having like your own inner turmoil your own battles that you were dealing with that you weren't really that not a lot of people were privy to rather so I like seeing this energy a lot for you because it's showing to me that uh, you finally are coming out of your shell. Things are improving now uh, for you, Aquarius. And so because of that, it feels like you guys are just naturally as the Empress uh, giving birth to your dreams. I even uploaded a video for, uh, who was it for Aquarius? It was, I believe it was for Leo, where I was saying, titled it where they're being fertile, that they're extremely fertile because they had the same card come in for their main course main course main portion of their reading aquarius but it's kind of the same energy though of where i feel like you guys are because the empress represents i mean it does represent um as well like pregnancy and you know if, if you're not trying to have a kid right now because of it being a very fertile time for you don't use protection darling if you're not trying to have a kid but silliness aside of course uh going back to the main message of it i do feel as if you guys are building something big aquarius and i feel like i even said this before in your last week's reading where it's like you have you have big ideas you have big dreams but i feel like it was just like I mean, non-confrontational, I say this with love, of course, Aquarius, it does feel like you guys have been just in a little bit of a depressive uh, experience, a depressive period, a depressive bout. How many times can I say depressed? <laughs> uh, maybe it's like a little bit of anxiety as well. But regardless, it shows to me that you guys are actively planning big things for yourself, actively trying to create and putting energy into something that you have a probably a really good feeling about because, you know, let's get some cards though. Two of Pentacles coming in for you. Okay. Juggling with things. Seven of Wands coming in here. Juggling with the perception of other people. <laughs> that voice crack, darling. Other people? Oh my gosh. Uh, the Empress card in the reverse. Absolutely. That's what your issue is. Perception of others. Or perception of how to handle it. Mm, we'll see. King of Wands in the reverse. Oh my gosh. Aquarius, darling. What's going on? So with this two of pentacles, as I was saying, you're juggling with the idea of something. You're trying to figure out how you want to manage something. With the seven of wands, this comes in as clarifier. I do feel like it's like perception, whether it's like a public perception and just generalized, where it's just like people in general perceiving you and how they perceive you and how they perceive like perhaps what it is that you're trying to create that you have this idea on right maybe you're just experiencing a little bit of insecurity right because when you're working on like creative projects naturally aquarius you are a little bit more protective of it but this thing is though is this speaking of like insecurity because you have the empress card and the king of wands in the reverse 
So this is showing to me someone getting a little bit too in their head, a little bit too insecure about what it is they're trying to create, what they're trying to give birth to. I'm going to just show you the cards in the upright so you can see the artwork of it. Um, but you guys are not taking action. You guys are extremely in your head about it. You guys... I, it's interesting. Is this like you don't know how to go about your approach, Aquarius? You don't know what to do uh, or how to go about doing it? Or is this truly like a situation of where it's like you want to create, you want to do things, but you are stressed out just about their, how someone perceives you? Is it just like someone in your work life perceiving you, coworker, a peer? What's going on here, Gem uh, Aquarius? I almost called you Gemini. I just did them last, that's why uh, they're still on the tip of my tongue a little bit, it's still Aquarius, forgive me. So let's pull some clarifiers for this. We have the Queen of Wands coming in under your Two of Pentacles. Let me get these cards back situated to where they were, actually, <laughs> before I start doing that. I know y'all can't even see the table, Aquarius, so I apologize for that, but... Uh, Queen of Wands is coming under your Two of Pentacles, so definitely juggling with the passion queen of cuts coming in here yeah you guys are really y'all care about the opinion of somebody a lot like how people are going to perceive something that you're creating gemini there you go now i said gemini now that now the seal has been broken darling now i'm just gonna be saying gemini aquarius i promise you this is for you aquarius forgive me i say everyone's zodiacs a million times right so then we have the tower card coming in under your king of wands in the reverse which is good thinking on this now uh, and then you have a sun card coming in under your empress so okay aquarius i like this definitely like reaffirming it was looking a little bit sketch darling i'm gonna be honest aquarius i was like oh what is going on uh, is this gonna be another heavy reading for my aquariuses but uh queen of wands coming under your two of pentacles let's break this down for you aquarius uh this is very much so a situation of like you really do want to just release this like because uh, here's the thing and maybe i'm wrong in this translation gemini but i get this sense here with this two of pentacles like in this queen of wands i get the sense that you have this passion right because the queen of wands is always talking about tending like a personal flame personal passion thing something that they want to just grow and develop and so i almost see this as a situation where you want to do this you want to honor this flame but somehow you honoring this flame has you in this place of like juggling two other things so this could be a situation where it's like if you were to put more energy into this project you would have to put less time into other things uh if you were to put energy into this project maybe it's going to piss some people off right and because i do see this anxiety because with this queen of cups coming in and the seven of under your seven of wands this is showing to me aquarius where you're really uh, caring about the perceptions of people's like there's someone's opinion someone's feelings that you're really considering you're not wanting to upset them in some way you're not or we're saying upset them but it, you don't want to hear something bad from them you don't want to you know there's some someone's emotions you're caring about a lot and so uh tower card coming under your king of wands in the reverse this is a good dynamic to have truthfully because this is showing to me eventually you guys coming out of this energy of more passiveness i do get this sense aquarius you guys need to start taking a little bit more of an aggressive role in your own life uh definitely the sense of not feeling bad about taking calling the shots and something right uh so for like my creative uh, Aquarius is out there maybe uh don't feel bad about expressing like your creative opinion and being like no this we should do it this way right I do feel like this sense of where Aquarius for you guys you need to honor your creative mind or you need to because that's all what Wands cards is talking about right it's those passions right and I guess I always just associate creativity with passions I suppose but yeah I do feel like there's a little bit more of a I don't know a better word for this other than like, and I hate using this word, um, like a little bit more of like an alpha energy. I feel like you need to be uh, more bossed up, 
or exuding a little bit more of a boss exterior or speaking with more confidence, I guess we'll say, you know? And don't start wording things with a bunch of fluff, Aquarius, where you're just like, you know, for so for example, if you're gonna bring an idea to me for YouTube, right? And you're just like, oh, Velka, what, what about this idea? What are, you know, why don't you try this out? You know, instead of phrasing the thing like that, you could phrase it in a much more affirmative way, a much more forward way of being like, Velka, you should try this out and I think you should try this out because of X, Y, and Z. Not speaking as if where like your ideas, your thoughts, your actions, whatever it is you're doing, Aquarius, from a more passive where it's like you're just feeling lucky and blessed that there's someone's even engaging you, right? It, be on equal ground and, uh, you know, not only on equal ground, but like speak with confidence with the stuff that you know about, right? Don't be, don't be ashamed about that. Uh, and then the sun card coming in under your empress in the reverse. So even though you have doubts about what it is that you're, you know, you still have a little bit of insecurity, I will say, but you still are staying the course with it because I feel like even you yourself deep down, Aquarius, know that there's something bigger planned for you, that your story just gets so much better. Um, that's why you continue to pursue this big thing that you've been working on this project um, for a while now because you know deep down even though you have between uh, under all that insecurity under that imposter syndrome under whatever it is i'll you know insert the, the adjective here uh aquarius you know deep down that there's something gonna turn out pretty lovely for you so i like this a lot you just kind of have to at some point you know be willing to like exude a little bit more boss energy you know if you have to fire someone right just fire someone don't be worried about their reaction it's just business at the end of the day right so let's use this deck actually no let's use this deck i want to use this deck aquarius is that okay we can use this deck okay so uh how's this gonna pan out for my aquarius though overall let's get a little bit deeper with this we have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Death card in the reverse. And then we have the Six of Wands. Okay, this turns out beautifully, darling, but this is such a weird thing. I wanna get another clarifier for this Death card in the reverse. Is this associated with like, okay, before I get ahead of myself, I suppose Aquarius, I can explain what I'm like, raising an eyebrow about is because ace of pentacles right that's like your golden ticket darling this is i always say is like your blank check from the universe they hand it to you they hand you this opportunity and you get to decide how much it's worth right you get to decide like how bountiful this is going to be through your actions right you have to be the one to decide it you pick your value and that's why you want to exude more boss energy and appreciating and respecting your time more so it's like you know, charge for more, right? If you don't respect your time, you may be undervaluing yourself and not charging the appropriate amount that you should be charging. No one's gonna argue with you, Aquarius, um, if you set a price and like, just because you, you are too shy to ask for more, right? Such a random side tangent I just got on. But with this death card in the reverse paired with the six of wands, you get some type of like, it's because of the death card in the reverse, it's just like a cycle that, someone tried to close off or something tried to just like putting it away just being done with it whether it's a person whether it's a, a project or what have you it does feel like you're picking it's like analogy time again Aquarius it's very much so like someone that um picks up like that just like you know it's like very much so like a mad scientist or a creator who or inventionist right someone who makes inventions for a living they put an invention in why am i saying that word weird an invention to the side and they're just like oh this is not there's no no worth it not worth it going or like maybe some old notes going back to old notes perhaps and just kind of looking at it in a different light i do just feel like there's something that you kind of dismissed that you come back to maybe with a new refreshed appreciation just for your own energy and i feel like it could actually work out a little better for you so let's get a little bit more detail on this this is interesting aquarius y'all's reading is so interesting so knight of wands in the reverse with the seven of wands yeah this is your issue uh aquarius straight up do not feel bad about asking for more the seven of wands is all about the sense of again like there's like this perception again of going back with this two of pentacles and the seven of wands 
I do get the sense here, Aquarius, like something that, you know, you're coming at it from a lower level of an approach. Maybe you weren't, you know, you know, maybe you weren't worth valuing your time enough. So the things that you were doing beforehand, uh, you were charging for pennies and then it just wasn't working out. And so now that you've learned more about yourself, now that you know your worth, you could do the same thing again, going back to doing the same thing, but charging more. And I feel like that's when the fast forward progress happens for you, Aquarius. I feel like this, the part of your issue was not necessarily like the invention, the thing itself, the presence itself, the person itself, like any, whatever this presence is that we're tapping into. Um, I don't feel like that was necessarily an issue. I feel like the issue was like how you were perceiving yourself and then presenting how you're perceiving yourself to the outside world and just wasn't fitting for you. You know, maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I'm out of pockets early. Uh, final card though, Knight of Cups. Yeah, definitely uh, Aquarius. I get this very strong sense that a lot of you guys are going to be picking back up on something that you at once abandoned, whether this is like some abandoned notes from an idea, whether this is an abandoned project or invention, whether this is a connection that you uh, abandoned. <laughs> that sounds aggressive, doesn't it? Um, it was something that you guys left and you were just like, okay, whatever. Because I don't feel like there's hard feelings attached to it. Notice we didn't get any swords. No pain at all. It just feels like something that you kind of like fizzled out. Um, you know, maybe it was just because of like... Because I know in before for you, Aquarius, you had very much so like a right situation but wrong timing with something in your past reading. So maybe this is where it's coming back, where it's like that same situation that was the wrong timing, you're coming back into it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like this is similar to what you got from your last week's reading partially. So definitely let me know what that's about, um, Aquarius. But now let's start getting into my Aquarius's uh, love and relationships this week right and when i say relationships i don't mean just romance right we have platonic relationships in our life right we have friendships we have acquaintances we have co-workers family and all that jazz siblings darling all more much more than romance ace of cups yes i do like a lot of you guys whatever your seven of wands perception was um i feel like you're opening back up to us this is a ace of cups is the card of you know, a tarot reader sees this, this will always just be like a read card or just like new love, right? This card says falling in love or the resurgence of an old relationship. What, you know, similar to what I was saying before, Aquarius. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. I feel like the new home is just more so the home that you have with yourself. Maybe that's corny, Aquarius, but I do just get this better, I do get this strong sense that through this long period that you guys were in your turtle shell, you learned, you did a lot of soul searching. You, your priorities have shifted and just, yeah, overall. Ace of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Wands in the upright, Six of Wands. So with whatever the situation is, whether this is a, you know, I'm going to speak more so first in terms of like, if it's, this is a uh, resurgence of a connection, Aquarius. Um, there's definitely something that needs to be addressed with this Ten of Wands here in Ace of Swords. It feels like you kind of know this as well. Um, maybe if this is like an old connection, there's a conversation that needs to have, that needs to be spoken that hasn't been spoken of yet. But this is definitely a more so a message for my Aquariuses that are really re that have been really reconsidering reaching out um, to somebody again. And I know in your last week, I know I keep referencing your last week's reading, but I was pushing for Aquariuses to reach out to people. Um, I feel like there's someone that you want to reach out to Aquarius, but you're a little bit intimidated by doing so for like, there's this 10 of wands energy. It's a little heavy to do, right? It's not just a simple text of just being like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Right? There's a little bit more thing, more baggage that needs to be un, uh, gone through before you can just go to the normal, like, oh, how are you doing texts, right? So, uh, good cards for that for your love and relationships this week, Aquarius. Now let's see what's going on for your financial and work life. This is more so where, uh, Aquarius, I feel like your general reading was talking about in terms of what it is you're giving birth to, because I do really get the strong sense you guys have a big project in the works that you've been working on even when you guys have been silent. The release card coming in here, Archangel Azrael. 
uh, same spiel if you're open to working with Archangel Azrael, Archangels in general, Azrael is the one as well. The end of a phase or spiritual transformation, time to move on. Yeah, this is, I feel like you guys are stepping into like a new beginning for your work life or your financial situation. Um, I feel like you're stepping into this new phase for your career, stepping into a new phase. I don't want to say that boldly in terms of just financial um, in general, but I do feel like you guys are going into a new let me just pull some cards i do just get this strong sense that you guys are how you go about making money is going to be coming in a lot stronger and just a new approach i feel like i feel like you're going to be maybe perhaps for some of you guys you guys are found a way to not work as hard or um, but make just as much money or being able to find a way to like work harder to make more money. Like, I feel like your, your work is going to be real, like your hard work is just going to be rewarded. Um, the clarifiers they have though, queen of pentacles, king of wands, 10 of wands. These are all cards in the reverse for you, uh, by the way, Aquarius. So definitely I do get the strong, uh, association with there's some type of baggage that's weighing you guys down. That's infecting you guys putting out this project. It feels like very much so like you guys are this empress trying to give birth to a dream, but like this, this, uh, you being pregnant has been going on for more than nine months, darling. At what point are you going to pop, pop it out? And the only time that you're going to pop out this dream right from you is when you address this baggage. It does feel like there's something that just hasn't been settled in your life. Uh, Aquarius that you really um, need to address and I feel like you have been healing with it but this ten of wands following you I can't help but remember like you have the ten of wands paired with your social situation so I do feel as if there's some type of person that you need to communicate with you need some closure with there's something you're craving closure with and I feel like it's kind of essential for you and once you address that closure that's when the floodgates open in a beautiful way for you for your finances but yeah, Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. I do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs, not just yours, Aquarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. I, If you are open, if you're looking to do a private reading with me, I do private readings on my website, simplyvelka.com. I link it down below along with my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, darling, all of them at simplyvelka all the same. I love you so much and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future Aquarius. Bye.